Hello everyone, welcome back to the world of psychology. Today's video is on observational learning, also known as modeling theory, proposed by the renowned psychologist, Albert Bandura. In this video, we will discuss the theory of observational learning and how it works in our daily lives. Observational learning, also known as modeling theory, is a type of learning that occurs through observation and imitation of others. This theory was first introduced by the renowned psychologist, Albert Bandura. According to Bandura, there are four essential components of observational learning, attention, retention, reproduction, and motivation. The first component, attention, is critical for observational learning. The learner must be able to focus on the behavior of the model to learn from it. The learner must be able to selectively pay attention to the relevant aspects of the model's behavior to retain the information. The second component, retention, is about remembering what was observed. The learner must be able to store the information in their memory for future use. This can be achieved through repetition or practice. The third component, reproduction, involves actually replicating the behavior that was observed. This requires the learner to have the necessary physical and cognitive abilities to perform the behavior. Additionally, the learner must have the motivation to attempt the behavior. The final component, motivation, is the driving force behind the learner's desire to imitate the behavior. The learner must have a reason or incentive to perform the behavior. This can be achieved through internal or external factors such as the expectation of a reward, praise, or a sense of accomplishment. Observational learning can occur in various contexts. For example, children often learn by observing their parents or siblings. They observe their behavior and imitate it. This type of learning can be seen in both positive and negative behaviors. Another example of observational learning is in the workplace. Employees may observe their co-workers or superiors and imitate their behavior. This can be seen in how employees interact with customers, handle tasks, or solve problems. Observational learning can also occur through media such as television, movies, or video games. This is why it is important to monitor the content that children are exposed to as it can influence their behavior. In conclusion, observational learning, or modeling theory, proposed by Albert Bandera, is a type of learning that occurs by observing and imitating others. This type of learning is essential in our daily lives and can be seen in various contexts. To effectively use observational learning, one must pay attention, remember, reproduce, and have a motivation or incentive to imitate the behavior. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.